So the thing about straight lines is that their steepness doesn't change. It remains fixed. So here is uh, a part of the line y equals 2x plus 1. Now, we know from our GCSE knowledge that we can read off the equation of a straight line, okay, given in the form y equals mx plus c, we can read off the gradient as m. So I can say here that the gradient of this line is equal to 2. Okay, I can read that off. Now what that means is that for every 1 along, I am going up 2 units. Every 1 unit long, I move up 2. Okay, that's what it means for a gradient of 2. Now, I also know that if I'm asked the gradient of any of these lines, that in every single case, the gradient is 2. Okay, so this number that is on the end, which is just the y-intercept, and just tells you how high up on the graph the line is, the gradient is unchanging. Okay, So in all of these cases, I could say the gradient function, because it's unchanging, okay, is just 2. So we could describe a function that tells us the gradient okay, of the graph at any point. So we could call this gradient function, because you know, we've been working with, uh, if we wanted to do the gradient of this line, we do the difference in the y divided by difference in x. Okay? And that's where they, we get this idea of the dy by dx. Now, we're going to formally introduce this like, later on in these videos, okay? But from here, we can already be going, well, if this represents the gradient function, or you can also think of it as the rate of change of y, okay, the rate that y is changing with respect to x, well, in each of these cases, dy by dx is 2. Okay? It's telling me that the gradient is always 2. It is fixed. It is constant. And this number that is on the outside doesn't make any difference. It just rises or lowers the graph into another position. The gradient of it is unchanging. Okay, that doesn't change the gradient, rather. So, from this position, we're then going to start looking at the gradients of curves and where we need to go thereafter to look at more complicated uh, gradient functions. This is really the first step into calculus.